Five tips with the move tool. Number one, clipping parts. The move tool in the upper left lets you drag parts you've already attached. This gives you a lot of freedom in part placement, allowing you to create gaps and even clip parts inside of each other. Number two, fine adjustment. With angle snap turned on, adjustments with the move tool are in steps or clicks. Hold shift for precise control. You can also turn off angle snap for more flexibility in placement. Number three, balance payloads. The move tool comes in handy when attaching cattywampus payloads to your rocket. I typically use a small engine and small fuel tank. Attach it and balance my payload. Use the move tool to line up your payload's center of mass with the center of thrust and remove the engine afterward. You can combine this technique with the Kerbal Engineer mod and try to get a torque as close to zero as possible. Number four, tidy up later. With the inclusion of the building tools, it's often good practice to somewhat haphazardly slap your small details on your spacecraft, run through with the move and rotate tools, and tidy things up later. This especially speeds up aircraft construction. Number five, minimize drag. The move tool allows us to use nearby nodes for attachment instead of parts like radial attachment points and octagonal struts. Attach your parts and then move and rotate them into position. This can be a handy trick building high-speed aircraft like SSTOs by eliminating extra weight and drag. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for five tips landing boosters.